Um, this is my first vlog, so oh, I don't really know where to start. So, first of all, I'm Rose, for anyone that doesn't know me. Um, I'm from Ontario, Canada. I live on a crop farm back home. I'll get into some more, like, details about, like, who am I later. Um, right now I'm going to talk about my first 24 hours in the Cayman Islands, which is in the Caribbean, for anyone that doesn't know. So, I'm going to talk about a couple of things, uh, they're pretty raw, things that happen before the trip, and then I'm going to talk about the first 24 hours. So, first of all, before the trip, so Christmas happens, it's a plane outside, Christmas happens, all good, so the 26th comes, I look at my bank account, and I'm just like, what the hell happened? There's three hundred dollars in it. Well, three hundred and three dollars. I was flying out on the 29th, so I'm talking about December 26th. Is when I looked at my account. I was flying out on the 29th, so I knew that I had to take some serious action. So at that point, I got on Kijiji and I got on Facebook Marketplace and I started selling everything. I sold my rug. I sold my salt lamp. I sold like an Under Armour sweater, a bunch of Victoria's Secret stuff whole bunch of stuff because people will buy, will buy like brand name things and that kind of stuff um i do have a business refinishing antiques as well so i've invested like probably almost a hundred thousand dollars at this point into not all at once but over the years i have a lot of like furniture that's not painted so when i need money i will just sell the furniture that i've bought could have been last year, could have been six years ago, that's not painted. So I sold a whole bunch of furniture, probably like 12 pieces of furniture. So that gave me a few hundred. Plus the clothes, the rug, the lamp. Then um, to the product that I use is called chalk paint when I'm painting. And I actually sold all of my paint. I probably had nine different people come to buy the paint and the last lady that came bought everything. She bought like every single, like drip of paint I had left so even if it was a half half container if it only had a fourth left in it she bought it all so that was like a few hundred um then I got my paycheck from one job was paycheck with my vacation pay for the year and that was 1200 and then I got my last paycheck from this place I worked in Port Stanley this summer for $120 so at this point I'm just like yeah, the point of it is, if you want to go away and travel, you have to do it. You have to go all out. Because what is what do you need the material things at home for if you're abroad? So long story short, in two days, I made over $2,000. as more than that, actually. I left with $2,500. So, skirt. That's what I have to say about that. Um, honestly, though, I think it's really important for you to know that I would go abroad with two dollars because there's a lot of ways to earn money abroad and you don't even necessarily have to be earning money you can be self-sustaining for example I worked at a restaurant in Cambodia last year um, they don't pay you anything but you get free room and free food so you're essentially self-sustaining which would be like one of my biggest things in life that I would like to do so anyway I, uh, I would have just went with no money, but the thing is, I'm planning to go abroad for at least six months, and there's a lot of flights involved, so I do need to have some kind of way to keep earning money. Um, the other thing is that where I flew into yesterday, Grand Cayman, is a country where you have to have a flight booked out of it to enter, so it was the 26th, I had $300, and I had to book a flight to Grand Cayman. So that would have been all my money that I had left. Plus, personal, but like I owe $2,500 on my credit card because I just bought this nice Mac. But a Mac, I think, was a great investment for me because I'm trying to like further my content. I'm trying to make like creative content and I need a good computer that's reliable that I can use to edit with. So, Merry Christmas to me! That's what I got. Well, got it a few months ago, but anyway, I just started using it. 
So yeah, that was kind of what happened before the trip, and I did want to make a clip like when this was all happening, but there was a lot of crying, so I wasn't really make to, into taking a video of what was going on. Um, yeah, so just to put this in perspective, de December 26th, I had $300, and I sold all of my stuff. I still have a lot of stuff at home, but I sold a lot of stuff, and I made a lot of money. So... With that being said, I'm able to come here. So, um, long story short, I get here. <sighs> oh my god. So, my trip getting here was basically... Uh, I flew out of Toronto on the 29th. And um, when I got on the plane, I was taking a connecting flight to Philadelphia, and then I was planning on staying in the airport for 18 hours. Like, I am a very budget traveler, so if I have to stay in the airport for 18 hours in order to not book a hotel, that is what I would do. So, this trip, I brought my backpacking bag, it's 65 liters this time, and a suitcase, since I'm planning on working in the Cayman Islands for a few months late, later on in the trip, which I'll talk about in another video. But, um, yeah, so... This is like the first trip in a really long time that I've brought checked baggage. I'm pretty also against checked baggage because I feel like it's really easy to lose and just like, I don't know, how could you possibly need that much stuff? You need a backpack and a suitcase. But since I'm coming for so long and I'm going to be living here, not traveling, it's like you need different kinds of clothing, different kind of footwear. And yeah, so anyways, get to Philadelphia one hour flight from Toronto or something, it was cool, super small plane, <sighs> getting on the plane, my backpack wouldn't fit in the overhead baggage, so then they're like, oh yeah, we'll just put it in like under for free, and I'm like, okay, so they don't even give me like a valet tag or anything for my bag, I don't even have my name on this bag, so I was like freaking out, because I don't, they're just carrying it out of the plane, I don't know where it's going, they told me I had to take all my electronics out, so I had like my laptop, my camera, all my chargers had to come out, my Beats pill, um, all of my, like, the converters, like, from, like, I have a big converter that's international, like, power converter. So I had to come out. I had to take out so much stuff. It was a huge, annoying thing. Cause, so I just had, like, a plastic bag they gave me with all my electronics in it because I was going to have it in the overhead. But then my bag couldn't fit because the plane was so small. Then I get to Philadelphia. And I'm, like, going to pick up the checked bag. And since the layover is more than 12 hours, American Airlines doesn't just, like, automatically check your bag onto the next flight. You have to go and collect it since it's more than 12 hours. So I went there to collect my bag. And as I'm going out, there's all these signs, like, no re-entry, no re-entry. And I'm just like, holy shit. I knew it was going downhill from there pretty much. But I had no choice because my bag would have just went into a baggage room where it gets sent in till you come pick it up anyway. So I went and um, I went and got the bag. As soon as I get out, I'm just like, oh my god. Because I can't get back into the airport because I'm out of like the gate area. So if I was to have not checked a bag, I could have got off the plane and stayed where it's like gate A, B, C, D, stayed in that gate area for as long as I want. Cause stayed there the whole 18 hours and got on my plane the next day, no problem. So shout out to my mom, she ended up saving the day. I was having a meltdown in the airport because I can't afford a hotel. So yeah, um, my mom put me in the Renaissance Philadelphia Airport Hotel for the night. I got pizza, got some garlic bread, it was cool. Um, and then I got up at 4 a.m. on that night and flew to Cayman. That So essentially, I landed on the 29th in Philadelphia at 1 o'clock and I didn't fly out until 8 o'clock the next morning. So yeah, that's basically how that went. Um, and in short, my first 24 hours here, well, I got here and got absolutely obliterated. And I had my toilet, head in the toilet all night to sleep by 7 o'clock. So, thanks for watching!